guys welcome back to my channel welcome back to a brand new video today i am filming a home bargains haul one of my favorite places to shop i think of all the budget homeware stores home bargains is possibly my favorite sometimes i go in there come out with a couple of items other times like on this occasion i don't know how i do it i i think I think my first mistake is grabbing a trolley because then I'm not restricted and I go a bit crazy. I've made one of my cinnamon bun lattes today so I feel like I'm going to have lots of breaks throughout this video to just keep sipping on this. Also fun fact, home bargains hauls are probably one of my longest to film because they don't have the prices on everything so it's really hard to remember so I literally have to refer to my receipt after every item if I'm going to tell you the price. So anyway, let's start with fashion and beauty. We've got some household cleaning bits, some homeware bits. We've got some uh, foodie items, some stationery bits, all sorts. So I'm going to start with fashion and beauty. And I, yes, I say fashion because if you missed my last home bargains where I showed some of their new fashion range, I have purchased some more. So the first item is actually what I'm wearing. It's a two-piece set, top and bottoms. It's in this kind of relaxed soft touch jersey and this grey mull, really really light grail, grail? grey mull. It's £14 for the set and I picked it up in a 10 to 12. And I'd say it's a cross between pyjamas and loungewear. I wouldn't wear this out and about but I would get into it if I'm having a day at home. Do you see what I mean? And then the other item that I got fashion wise is this dress. So they had it in black. I opted for the khaki just because I'm fast realizing that wearing black, owning a golden retriever is not a good combination. This was 12 pounds. I picked this one up in a 12 and I would recommend sizing up with this one. I'm typically a 10 to 12 and I think I could have got away with a 14. Um, just because one of the paneling bits across the like bum area, well especially for me, because I've got a big bum, it is a bit snug. I, okay, it's not snug, but it's definitely not as flowy and floaty as I thought it would be. So I'm glad I got a 12, put it that way. And then I got two packs of this Berry and Wilson microfiber invisible liners with non-slip heel grippers. They're these little kind of hidden socks that I like to wear with trainers. Yeah, I have so many of these and they just seem to go missing <laughs> in the wash. And these were 99p each. I'm already on my first coffee break. I whiz through these. Colgate toothpaste, this is the one I use, the Total Whitening, and also the Cool Kick Nivea Men deodorant. Me and Tom both share this. I also got one of these bath and body puff things for in the shower. These are only 39p each. I also got some Piers Win 15 SPF, and that was 4 99 And then I also got this from the travel shop section, Refreshing Cool Mist, Instant Cooling spray for body and face these are the most refreshing things if like me you tend to get hot really easily this is just like a such a good refreshing kind of mist that just goes everywhere and it's only 89p bargain then i also stocked up on some hair accessories these from the james london range i think it's a new range that they have um i just got some well this is a large and medium pack in the tortoise shell and then some black little mini ones and a load of scrunchies. I love the fact that this pack of scrunchies have um, loads of different kind of neutral tones, creams, whites, beige, brown and black. And then I got these cute tiny little mini clips as well as and when I have done my hair just to clip kind of like the front piece away off my face. I just take the front pieces of my hair and clip it up with one of these tiny ones and I mean, you can imagine how these go missing so easily. I've got some new erasers. These are the Simply Venus Gillette ones. Find them really good. And it's pack of four plus you get two free. Two ninety nine for a pack of six. I also just got some paracetamol whilst we were in there. This flavour sounds amazing. Fresh Orange Blossom. This is from Lipsil. And the reason why I got this, it's got SPF 15 in it. So good for protecting the lips during the summer months. I tend to just wear like lip liner and lip balm on my lips on like an everyday basis. So this is enriched with aloe vera, vitamin E and shea butter. And it's a mirror compact as well. And it was only 99p. I did notice as well that they had quite a few branded beauty items. So they had some real techniques. They had some wet and wild makeup. They also had some physician's formula. And they're at 
quite heavily reduced, heavily discounted price points. So Physicians Formula is quite a reputable brand for, especially in America, I remember when we lived out there, this was huge and it's really good for if you have problematic skin. So this is actually an organic rose oil lip polish, good for exfoliating the lips. And this was only £1.49. I think RRP, this would retail for quite a lot more than that. So I thought I would get it to try it out. Okay, let's move on to homeware now, which is probably my favorite area to shop. You know, I feature home bargains quite a lot in my White Company dupes video. I do feel like they quite often, especially over Christmas time and everything, nail the homeware. So they did have lots of things I was tempted for, but just not really timing-wise was ideal. And you know, I don't need loads of homeware right now, whilst we're renovating. I'm kind of refraining, unless if I see something I love. I did pick up a couple of bits though, and I'm definitely being very premature here, but I picked up something which I thought would look nice at Christmas time. So you guys know I was collecting those kind of white ceramic houses, tea light holders and light up little houses for Christmas. I I mean, you can keep them out all year round, but I like them as a Christmas ornament. I thought this would complement them quite nicely. It's just a gold uh, glassed framed candle holder that you can put a little candle in there. You could put some kind of foliage in there. You could do fairy lights in there. You can hang it as well. And I just thought it would complement them quite nicely. So I picked this one up at only $3.99. Then at $2.99, they had these mesh crates with rope handles. This is the small one. They did have a medium and I think a large as well. So you could definitely get like a full collection going or get a few and stack them um, as like storage solutions. So I just think they're a bit more interesting than just a box standard plastic storage container. So at $2.99, I decided to pick just the small one up for now. Little caddy for storing your oils and salt and peppers and stuff on your kitchen worktop maybe, um, to stack maybe some little kitchen cookbooks in. I just loved that. I got a couple of barbecue essentials, seeing as though we have been having more barbecues. And at £4.49, I got this. It's from Spear and Jackson Select Stainless Steel Barbecue Tool Set includes spatula fork and tongs just a good little carry case that kind of protects them in as well and then i also got this at 1.99 one of these barbecue scraper tools i did pick one up from poundland in probably my previous poundland haul um i broke it i was trying to get something out of the ground in the garden and this was to hang because we just had a barbecue and i thought it needs washing anyway let me try and get oh i just broke it i broke it this is a fun purchase from the brand Bench, they had a load of different like workout items and tools and equipment. And I saw this, which compacts nicely, which is the main reason why I liked this. So it's a hula hoop, if you can't already tell by the box. And it's black and it kind of, um, I guess it's in segments where you like piece it together, which is what I love. It's just so much more versatile than having a big hula hoop. And I used to love doing this, and it was actually Lydia on Fashion Influx who, um, she did like a story or something recently where she basically keeps trim with one of these. And I just thought, oh yeah, I've got that kick to get back and just, I mean, I could just stand watching TV doing it. I love it. So um, yeah, I picked this one up for, uh, 9 99 and it is also weighted, so it's quite good for working out and for getting that waistline trim. Hopefully, anyway. Fingers crossed, because I need it after all these cinnamon bun lattes. I picked up one of their reed diffusers, and I don't know if they've always been like this or they've switched up the packaging slightly, but I loved the look of this. So it's one of their 100ml diffusers in lime basil and mandarin, which in itself is obviously a Joe Malone dupe. But look at the actual bottle. It's like a frosted glass. And if you can see on this side, the reeds are a really nice white colour. So I've never seen any kind of budget reed diffuser look so nice. It's only 2 dollars so I decided to pick it up. And then at 99p, I picked up one of their lavender pillow sprays. I have just ran out of my White Company pillow spray and I use it every single night before going to bed, just spritz the pillow. So I was quite sad to not have that sleep spray anymore. So I decided to try a budget alternative, as long as it doesn't break me out and as long as it smells good, then who knows, I'll stick with it. But lavender pillow spray with lavender oil, chamomile, rosemary extract, 
Uh, extracts to relax the senses 99p bargain good little stocking filler what am i talking about christmas for someone needs to reframe me it's because of that little gold house i've got christmas on the brain i also picked up one of these uh, trolley buddies that they've got very handy to just pop on your keychain, your bunch of keys and they basically save you when you don't have a pound and you need a trolley at home bargains they're an absolute bargain at only 39p much cheaper than a pound although you get the pound back so it's actually free if you use a pound coin, whereas that costs you. <laughs> but moving on. Love a good scratch and sniff. That's good. Like that. Okay, so I think I've had one of the hanging ones from Wickford and Co for in your car. It's like a car air freshener. But um, I don't think I've ever tried one of these ones. Up to 30 days of freshness. It's a gel pot, it's called. So you can just pop this in like where your cup holder is. And these are only 99p. Okay, this next item is the most random purchase ever. So it is a big block of Himalayan salt. And it's actually for horses. It's a hot halt horse salt lick so you can it's got the rope on it you can hang it and i guess horses enjoy getting the minerals and nutrients from the himalayan salt it reminded me of something that i've seen on oliver bonus where there's a little set that you get a big chunk of himalayan salt like this with a little board and grater to basically grate for use in the kitchen for cooking you can um, chip them into chunks and have them in your bath or grate them down yet again and have himalayan salt in your bath it's meant to be really relaxing for your muscles so i bought this big chunk which actually i think looks really pretty it kind of looks like um some kind of rose quartz or something it's not as himalayan salt but the fact that it's in a big chunk of it um i guess could look pretty maybe on like a decorative tray uh, but anyway this was only 199 so in comparison to the price points i've seen whereby you get a chunk with a little grater i've obviously got a grater if i want to make my own himalayan salt for in the bath or for in the kitchen um failing that i have a friend who has a horse in the kitchen section where there's the glassware and everything there are some champagne flutes which were heavily discounted compared to the original price point they're of some kind of brand or make where they're like crystal really pretty but i did see in that same section they had these beer pint glasses which i mean tom being the one who's probably more of a pint drinker than me if ever he has friends over or whatever we've got a set of six pint glasses i just i prefer something like this which is a bit more unique in shape and design than a standard pint glass which we do actually have one of which tom's clinging on to for the odd pint he has so that's what it actually looks like i really like that shape set of six on amazon 25.99 absolute bargain for 4 99 I also got from the kitchen aisle this linen feel tablecloth, 120 by 180 centimetres. Now, I wouldn't say that it's necessarily linen look. Maybe it's linen feel. It looks more just like a disposable uh, tablecloth, to be honest with you, but just ideal for out in the garden. Like I said, when we have barbecues, we do actually have one of those pop-up tables just as a temporary fix. And it was only 99p. I got three of these face cloths that they do. They were only 29p each, so hence why I picked up three. I maybe should have even picked up more. They had loads of different colors available. They had a lot of white ones, but these are actually a real nice kind of ecru stone colour which I just thought looked really kind of natural that kind of natural textures that I'm incorporating within my house a lot with me loving the neutrals I love different textures and different kind of shades and I don't know I just thought of 29p bargain I could roll these up and have them like on display somewhere in a little basket these always come in handy I've literally just spent 20 minutes looking for the price on the receipt and I've just noticed the price is actually on the front of this one <laughs> don't mind this uh come these come in super handy just to have spare Spares of Pop Fizz Paul Clink little bottle bag for gifting with 59p. And then I also got this, which is a fun little thing to maybe just pop in the pop in the TV cabinet unit where we've got a couple of games. Uno. Now with customizable or wild cards. Oh, how does that work? Oh, you can literally pop on the rules on the wild cards that's cool never seen that before uh 5.99 this one was i feel like uno is a good classic they had a load of gaming kind of books of which of course i had to pick up one of um i liked the design of this one and also i do quite like a word search so this it has like leopards on it leopards on the front rrp of 6.99 149 in home bargains 
and each page has a different word search, different themed. And then last but not least for stationery, I got this 12 week cleaning diary. I'm currently on the Miss Cinch list one that she sold i think you can pick that up for about seven pounds now if you want a budget option though this one is only 199 and it just has on the front a kind of like cloud effect watered colored cover in blue there's a couple of cleaning tips there's cleaning examples to fill out and then that kind of follows you step by step weekly focus and then the majority of the pages follow this layout I always like to do a little to-do list beforehand, so it's, I think it's the satisfaction of ticking off once you're done. Anyway, let's move on to household and cleaning products. Speaking of cleaning, I needed some more washing up powder, so I've got the Fairy Non-Bio. This is 4 99 for this tub. You know, I find that supermarkets sometimes are actually quite expensive. For our toilet, I've got this Harpic 8 tablets per pack in Citrus. This apparently is, well it says Power Plus Active Tablets that helps remove any lime scale. And then I also got the Harpic Active Fresh Mountain Pine. So this says it kills bacteria, 99.9% .9 of bacteria. I don't actually know if it's a lime scale remover though. So I thought I would get these tabs for before using this because I love the smell of this. So I still want to get this. Bin Buddy, one of my favourite cleaning products for doing the bins. I usually use the powder, but I got this one for £2.99. I love the sound of this smell of this one. It's orange and lemongrass, so nice and fresh and citrusy, good for this time of year. So yeah, it's a spray form, so it's actually better for actually cleaning the bin with. I wanted to get another 1001 carpet fresh. This is the pet friendly one. I do have another one, but I just use it in here where Barney's very rarely in here, but when he's in the front room, I always like to use a pet friendly one. So this is in Thai Orchid and Passion Fruit, which does smell really, really lovely. And these are £1.89. We also needed some more dishwasher tablets, £4.99 at this pack of finish again, saving on the retail price of this. This is in Fresh Apple, limited edition. I like to get the spiced apple when we're in autumn and winter, and the fresh apple for the rest of the time of the year. You get 36 tablets for £4.99. At $1.99, I picked up this Febreze Fabric Refresher. This is in the Morning Freshness scent, and I think this is the only one that has all the uh, branding on it to be anti-back. $2.99, Lenore Unstoppables. This is a new scent, and it does smell lovely. It is, oh God, that is good. So good. This is a limited edition, oh no. Ocean Breeze, Summer Vibes, it's got in the front, it is, it's very like, smells like the beach, so good, love that, 2 99 Then the last of the cleaning products at £1.89 is this jewellery cleaner, so it's a little um, pot with a cleaning solution in, it says it can do gold, white gold, platinum, silver and gems, it's 236 mils, and I just thought, let's see, immerse article in tray, shake for around 15 seconds, remove, rinse with water and wipe dry. Okay, the last and final category, food and drink, probably my favorite. I always get sucked in by all the different treats and things that are on offer. Um, these were a bargain at only 29p each. So I decided to pick up four, one of each flavor. They're the Fentiman's little kind of mixers. And this one is a ginger beer, love a ginger beer. Then we've also got a Connoisseur's tonic water, a naturally light tonic water, which is like a go-to for me, and then the premium Indian tonic water. So a good little selection there, and 29p each, you could definitely stock up. Summary season equals ice lollies and ice cream. I've actually had an ice cream today already. We went for a nice walk and got an ice cream on the walk. Um, so I got these dipped sugar waffle cones. I love the fact that they've got the little chocolate coating on. They're only 99p, and then these ones are only 89p. The Mr. Freeze Jubblies. This is the lemonade flavor. It's probably my favorite flavor, actually. You get eight in there. At 1.99, I stocked up on the sugar, sugar? sugar-free Iron Brew, Diet Iron Brew. One of my fave granolas, the Crunchy Nut Granola. This is the Hazelnut and Chocolate one, and this is $1.99 for the bag. These are only 89p, which I'm sure is quite a lot cheaper than the norm for kettle chips, and it's in the flavor Crispy Bacon and Maple Syrup with Norfolk Bacon. They sound divine. I also, next to them, saw these, so I decided to pick them up as well. Guinness flavored, thick, I need to sneeze. Thick cut hand cooked potato chips. These are always good for just snacking with.
with dip before the barbecue. Can't help ourselves, and I couldn't help myself with these because I did open a pack. They're little um, mini individual portioned pack or packets of the Ritz crackers. They are only 99p. These are only 69p each, and I got some biscuits. So these are good little coffee biscuits with the milk chocolate, but I also saw the white chocolate ones. I'm a big white chocolate fan as well, so I feel like I'm gonna love them. At 79p, I saw that Mikado do the dime flavored Mikados. I've never tried these before. I do love a Mikado, but dime. Mikado is a whole new thing. I'm not even going to justify this purchase. One of the snowy unrobed boxes of Oreos, 99p. These are so good. 89p pack of chewing gum. This is the Cool Breeze one. They have the Starbucks Cafe Mochas in, or well, they have Cafe Mocha. They have the Cafe Latte ones as well. These are two pound, which again is a saving on the retail price from the price point that you'd expect to pay in the supermarket so I decided to get one of these boxes they're only five in a box so they don't last me very long 99p little bag of chia seeds it's actually quite a generously sized bag of chia seeds you can add to the porridge salads I have done my baked oats recipe with chia seeds before I did a what I eat in a day video so if you search that you'll be able to find my baked oat recipe apple and cinnamon and it's with chia seeds as well. So that's a pretty good price point for that bag. You can also um, sprinkle these on your dog food as well. Apparently good for them. At £1.79, I got one of the Beanies coffee. These are just like little pots of instant coffee. And to be completely honest with you, in the past I found the flavour's not the strongest with these. But I decided to go for this one because it's in a caramelised biscuit. So it's like a Biscoff flavour. I'm really hoping it is because if it is... I will love this and they're quite low calorie as well these ones are so um yeah maybe worth a try sugar free and only £1.79p. At £1.49 I picked up a Sunpat smooth peanut butter I always get the smooth so that uh, Barney can always have some as a treat and then last but not least my faves what I'm drinking now except I'm drinking the cinnamon bun latte the Nescafe gold latte sachets these ones, you get eight in a box, and I literally have one a day, so they last only just a week, just over a week. So this one is the caramel latte. I don't know if I've ever had the caramel latte before. Coffee's nearly gone, filming is done. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing what I picked up in Home Bargains this time round. If you're a fan of the Home Bargains videos, I would love it if you give it a thumbs up. It really, really helps support my channel, and do comment below if you want any other kind of budget haul options. Any suggestions, leave them in the comments. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I hope to see you all very, very soon in my next video. Bye, guys.